dawn breaks over the Indian Ocean, revealing the remote atoll of Alphonse in the outer Seychelles, the waves breaking on its fringe reef. It's the first stop for the deep ocean explorers of the Necton mission. Getting ready for launch. <laughs> Engineers have been finalizing the submersibles for launch, fixing specimen collection boxes on the outside and ensuring a watertight connection in the spaghetti of cables that distribute power and control signals around the subs. Seawater starts wreaking havoc on all the electronics. Everything's got to work in order to pull off the science and the media mission. So one little thing could kind of spoil the whole apple cart. So we have to be meticulous about every step of the way, not to mention the life support aspect. Safety is paramount. The mothership on the surface can track the sub's depth and position. If there's a major power failure, there's emergency oxygen to last 96 hours underwater. We'll be going down to 300 meters, as far as this sub can safely go. At that depth, the pressure is immense, equivalent to a jumbo jet pressing on your head. And our very survival depends on this bubble of acrylic plastic, eight centimeters thick. Technology from around the world is having to be meshed together to pull off Deep Ocean Live. A series of pioneering programs will broadcast from the twilight zone. Plugs and sockets don't always match, so there's resoldering to do. But Randy, who's done more than 350 dives, some as deep as 1,000 meters, says it'll all be worthwhile. It's peaceful. You know, if it's a flat bottom, we can land there. I actually enjoy turning lights off, turning down some of the, the noisy systems and just sitting in the quiet and the darkness and just watching what happens. The bioluminescence will come by and there'll be sparkles. You can hear the shrimp crackling. It's amazing. Launching the two million pound machines looks precarious, but practice will make the operation slicker. There are also technical problems on the subs to solve. You okay with that there? Yeah. But our engineer, who has rigged them with cameras, is happy. The pictures from the deep will be spectacular. Thomas Moore, Sky News in the Seychelles. In the Deep Ocean Live series, we'll broadcast live news bulletins 300 feet underwater. Join us beneath the sea on Monday the 18th, Tuesday the 19th and uh, Wednesday the 20th of March. And you can also keep up to date with our Deep Ocean teams on the Sky News website and of course on the uh, mobile app.